Hi, in this tutorial I am going to explain you equivalence partitioning. Equivalence partitioning is black box technique designed to minimize the number of test cases. The data is divided in such a way that all inputs giving same output are categorized in the same equivalence class. Therefore, the tests are written using test error, which represents each equivalence class. Now, we are going to see how to identify equivalence classes. Let's take each input condition for, say, example, where we are only making valid test case or valid test when input is within particular range and from that we can figure out the valid and invalid class. The one class where our test case is going to fail will be in that invalid range and the class where test case are going to pass will be the valid one. So let's see with the example where we have minus nine 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 to na positive nine 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 number. So the valid range is in between this and this. We don't have any fixed number. You can take as plus one thousand in 9998 so any number in between that range will be valid so whenever you have to do equivalence partitioning or you have to see how you can categorize into classes let's take another example where we have 0 then some number then another number the higher number and in between the that if there is any valid class then you have to separate invalid and valid range and then figure out how many classes are there for equivalence partitioning the advantage for this is that you get to decide how many inputs go into the valid and invalid classes also there are many other ben benefits of this for example uh, whenever we are using some user interface test case in that you can find plenty of similar test cases that fall within same partition class so in such case you can find that it is very easy method to put the number of same inputs in invalid however there are some disadvantages as well one such disadvantage I can tell you is it has limited focus for example too many input in same class can have a problem because some of the time system behaves differently for even invalid class input so that rolls out any positive test cases happen within invalid range as well so the system is also not guaranteed and all all the sets of equivalent class in same way also um, you can see that uh, it doesn't taste every input so for particular range we will only test once and for another be it valid or invalid we only test once also there is no guideline for choosing which input to test and which we are not supposed to so that is pretty much it however uh, this black box techniques is very useful when you are writing your test case and coming up with a way to test it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you